So this is my Glock 17. Uh, I built this for Steel Challenge. Uh, I've also used it for USPSA, but I feel like it's better suited for Steel Challenge for me. Um, that's what I originally built it for. That's what I seem to have had the most fun with and the most luck with. Uh, <clears throat> so to start off, uh, Lone Wolf did all the machining. Uh, they installed the red dot. Uh, it's a Lone Wolf Alpha Wolf barrel, which is extremely accurate uh, right out of the box. Um, so one of the things before we get started I should talk about is the Glock 17 has an issue um, and if you look online it's BTF, uh, brass to the face, but what that's doing is it's also bouncing it straight off the front of my optic. Um, I'll show you a close up picture of all the dings right here. So that is the downside to this build. I have um, started trying to alleviate that. Uh, I went ahead and replaced the extractor, I replaced the ejector, I replaced uh, the ejector spring. Um, I can talk a little bit more about that ejector um, because I d it does take a little bit of work to replace that. It's not just a quick and easy uh, replacement on that one. Um, but as you can see, Lone Wolf did an amazing job on that milling and refinishing. Um, and then they Cerakoted this slide for me. Um, I got a Vortex Venom up here, which so far it's my first red dot and I absolutely love it. Uh, I would recommend it to uh, anyone. Uh, it did take some time to get used to. Uh, I didn't just pick it up, go to the range and start shooting uh, extremely tight groups. It did take um, a little bit of practice and it was a learning curve for me. But I also feel like, and I've read this is some other people's experiences as well, the red dot can help make you a better iron sight shooter because it forces you to focus on that one point, just like you would be focusing on that front sight if you only had irons. The other things I've done with this is I have a Hive Industries magazine release. Um, I got an Apex trigger, um, and there was a few other things that came along with that Apex trigger that I did, but this trigger is amazing. Um, I love it. We'll show a clear right there. Um, it has a little bit of take up, but not as much as the stock. But the real kicker is the reset there. Just nice solid click. Uh, it's not that much of a travel and you're right back on target. So I do like that a lot. Uh, that part about that trigger is great. Like I showed you, the uptake is a little bit longer than some of the other ones, but I feel like for steel challenge and for self-defense, it's perfect. It's not, you're not gonna accidentally, you know, pull the trigger during a reholster. Uh, it's not going to go off if you cough like some of those two pound, one pound, 1911 triggers that uh, some people run. It's a very solid trigger and it's very good for competition in my opinion. Some of the other things I've done to this, it's not much. Um, I did replace the recoil spring with a 13 pound because that slide does have a little bit extra weight now. And I'm hoping that that might alleviate the brass ejecting out and bouncing off that red dot. We will see. I don't know for sure. I haven't had a chance to test that yet. Um, but the ejector extractor seemed to kind of take it down a little bit uh, and that's some of the some of the uh, fixes I've read online so I decided just to go for it uh, and do a few things at a time um, and see if that would fix it. So all in all with this build, um, Lone Wolf did again most of the work, uh, all the slide work. It's their barrel. They installed the red dot for me. Um, their work is impeccable. I really love this gun. Uh, I'm actually debating trying to get a second slide for my Glock 22, um, sending it to Lone Wolf and having to do the same thing so I can have a gun that I can use um, iron sights or red dot. Uh, I feel like the red dot is just a lot of fun and it's super quick on target once you figure it out. Um, but I do like having the iron sights because I know a lot of people carry with the red dot. I don't know that I will, um, just because that adds a whole, you know, a full inch to your carry. Uh, so I don't know. I might, it depends on what I'm wearing, like during winter with a heavier coat, uh, that might be a better option. But for right now, I'm just carrying the 22 because I got the, because uh, I have the iron sights on there. Or my 42 because it's much smaller and it's extremely hot uh, in the southern U.S. right now. So it's kind of nice to have something a lot smaller to conceal in thinner clothing, uh, board shorts and a, you know, a Nike shirt that's super thin just because it's so hot. Um, so like I said, everything about this is great. That Apex trigger, go for it, love it. Uh, the Hive Industries mag release, 
love it. Uh, it's got that, it's much further out than the stock one. Um, as you can see right there, it gives you a nice firm push. You don't have to get all the way around and wrap around, you can just hit it on the way by and it drops. So that's perfect. Um, the Lone Wolf work is impeccable. Uh, love them. I'll be sending more stuff off to them. I've been shooting their 9x25 Dillon barrels for a long time. Uh, but this Apex 9mm barrel is fantastic. It is extremely accurate. The best group that I've ever shot with a pistol came out of this gun, and it was five shots, one hole. Um, and here's a picture of that. Uh, this gun can shoot better than I can. Uh, I know a lot of people have great guns and they shoot extremely well, um, but this gun is capable of way more accuracy than I am. Um, that five shot group, that was a great day. Everything lined up perfect. Um, I can shoot really good groups normally, but that, I mean, this gun can do that all the time. I just can't uh, yet. But for steel challenge where it's, you know, a, a good, you know, six inch, eight inch plate, um, this is fantastic. The moment you see that red dot hit that plate, you can pull the trigger and start moving to the next plate. Uh, it is fantastic for that. So if I was going to do all this again, uh, I would. I would do every single thing the same way. Um, I do want to try some other red dots. This is the only one I've tried. Um, I would like to try uh, Leupold, Trijicon, uh, any of the RMR series, anything, um, just to see how they stack up to the Vortex. But the Vortex has a lifetime warranty, so that's great. And it's a no BS lifetime warranty. You break it, they fix it. Um, so that's going to be nice, especially with the abuse I plan on, um, you know, giving this gun during challenges and competition. So if you're on the fence about that red dot, go for it. If you're on the fence about the apex trigger, go for it. Uh, Lone Wolf, it did take a little while, um, but it was well worth the wait. Everything was perfect when it came back. So um, if you're looking for a steel challenge gun, that's 17, the red dot setup, this is all perfect. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.